Okay, we've learned how to put our flute together and how to take care of it. We're going to start our practice session. We need to make sure we have a music stand. If you haven't already purchased a music stand, make sure you go out to the music store and buy a stand. The lower section just opens up and set that right in front of you like this. We're going to grab the top section and open the two arms and that section just attaches right to the main stand. Hopefully, like that. You're going to want to put the stand about eye level. So it's right in front of you like that so you can sit up nice and straight and look at your music. Okay. We're going to begin today on page 6 in our lesson book. One of the trickiest things in the first beginning of flute is just learning the fingerings. We're looking at number one on page six, and our first note is called D. And we've learned in our lessons of how to read that fingering chart, but I want to review how to play a D. Our thumb is pressing in the back, and then we're going to cover the second and third keys, so our first finger is going to be up in the air. And then with our right hand, we're pressing the first finger, second finger, and the third finger. So for D, it's thumb, two, three, one, two, three. That's our fingering for D. We're going to bring the flute up, and we're going to try to play the D. It sounds like this. On number one, we're playing whole notes. We're going to blow a D for four foot taps, and then we get to rest for four ta foot taps. Let's practice D. One, two, ready, play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. When I play a note on the flute, I'm going to be using my tongue to start that note. It's just like I'm saying the word two. So I use my tongue to start the tone. The next note is a C. It's almost the complete opposite of the D. The first finger, I've, I'm showing you my D fingering here. Thumb, two, three, one, two, three. The C, we press the first finger and the pinky. Nothing else. So once you put the flute against your mouth, you should be able to take your thumb off. So it's just the first finger and the pinky. Kind of a tricky. It's a little bit tricky to hold. You have to have good hand position. Here's what C sounds like. Number two. One, two, three, play. One, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's the C. Number three, we're going to try to practice a D, and then we have a four beat rest to try to switch to the C. So you have four beats during the rest to switch to the different fingering. D, then back to C, and then back to D. A lot of this first couple weeks on flute, you might practice just the fingerings by laying the head joint right on your shoulder, on your left shoulder, and just practice looking at your fingers and switching back and forth. Just getting used to the fingers moving up and down. Sometimes I lift my fingers a little too high. Try to keep those fingers close when you lift them up. Try not to lift them way up in the air. We're going to play number three. A whole lot of counting. Starts with a D. One, two, three, play. One, switch to C. Back to D. Ready, go. Back to C. Okay. 
Number four, we're learning our third note. B flat is the first finger and the thumb with our left hand. And with the right hand, it's the first finger and the pinky. That's B flat. It's one of our easier tones to play. Let's practice B flat. Number four. Ready, play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so those are the th first three notes of the flute. Numbers five, six, and seven are exercises that drill those three tones. They're just playing D, C, and B flat in different orders. Let's play number five, mix them up. Mix them up begins with the D, then we'll be switching to C, then B flat, and then C. Here we go, number five. One, two, three, four. Switch to C, first finger, pinky, play. B flat. Ready, play. Rest, back to C. Okay. Number nine, number six, I'm sorry, is melting pot. It's the same idea, but now we're beginning with the C. Number six, first finger, pinky for the C. Ready, play. B flat, first finger thumb, first finger pinky. Up to the D. Rest, two, three, C. Okay. You'll need some of you will need to spend a lot of time on page six just practicing. B flat, C and D over and over till you can switch back and forth. Without even looking at the B, uh, of the book, we're going to practice B flat to C. I'd like you to start with B flat, first finger thumb, first finger pinky. And then play C. Back to B flat. When I do that, you might notice the only thing that moves B flat to C is the thumb and the right first finger. So only two keys are moving. So that's not as hard as we think, just moving a couple fingers. When I play from C to D, Kind of reversing my fingers. The first finger and pinky are down for the C, and those two fingers are up on the D. So it's kind of reversing. So you can practice back and forth until you can do that at a faster speed. First, do it slow. C, D. Okay, once you've mastered that, you're ready for page seven. Let's practice number nine. I'm skipping ahead to number nine, side by side. In order to play this song, you're going to need to be able to switch from D to C, just with a quick breath in between the notes. Let's play number nine. Get ready with the D. We're going to use our tongue to start the tone, and we're going to tap our foot so we know when to switch to the C. Here we go. One, two, three. Ready, play. Switch. Rest. Stay on C. Rest. Back to C. Okay, that was number nine. 
skipping down to number 11. We're going to learn something new. 11 has half notes. Now we're going to just be blowing for two foot taps each. Half notes only get two beats. We're going to use our tongue on each half note. So I'm going to be going two, two, two. Okay, we can keep the air blowing but use our tongue. Number 11, half the price. I'm going to play three Ds, then I have two beats to switch to the C for three beat, for three Cs. Then there's a rest and I switch to three B flats. Number 11, one, two, three, play. Three, switch. 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 So you have to be able to switch those fingerings right on that beat. Number 12 is our first song, Cardiff by the Sea. Uses just those three notes. We're going to be playing some half notes, some half rest in there, and even a couple whole notes. Number 12, Cardiff by the Sea. We're going to start out right with the three notes, one after another. B flat, C, D. One, two, three, play. Number 13 and 14 use the exact same notes. Continue practicing those and get better at the C, D, and B flat. We're going to turn to page 8 and practice just a few new things that we'll be learning on, those, on that page. First of all, we have quarter notes. And quarter notes are not very hard. They're, the quarter note is worth one foot tap. So I'm going to be playing one quarter note every time I tap my foot. I'm going to be thinking two, 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 tonguing each note. Let's play line 15. See if you can play all four quarter notes in one breath. One, two, three, four. One, two, switch to C. B flat, ready, play. Back to C. Ready, play. Okay, and our second song, Hot Cross Buns. This is probably our favorite one in the beginning of the year. Hot Cross Buns is a good test to see if you can play those three notes quickly because we have to move from D to C to B flat and we have some quarter notes in there even. Hot cross buns number 16. One, two, three, four. Number 17, one more song that I'm going to play for you that uses the three tones, Eau Claire de la Lune. Just a different combination of quarter notes and half notes to produce a different song. One, two, three, four.
as a flute player, if you can play Hot Cross Buns and Eau Claire de la Lune, number 17, if you're able to play those two songs, you're well on the way to learning how to play the flute. The hardest point uh, is, is past, learning how to blow the flute and move those fingers. That's really difficult to do. So if you're able to play 16 and 17, you've mastered uh, the basics already. There's two new notes on page 8 that I'd like to explore a little bit. The number 19, the E flat, is almost identical to D. Our thumb, 2, 3, with the left hand, and 1, 2, 3, so it's just like the D, but now we're going to add the pinky on the end for E flat. That's E flat. Number 21, the F, our thumb is down, first, second, and third fingers, and then with my right hand, the first finger and the pinky. This is a higher tone. The F is a high, a high sound. Some of you, when you try to play an F, are going to get this sound. Might come out low. There is a low F with the same fingering. To get the high F, you're going to need to blow across the hole a little bit more and maybe speed up the air a little bit more. So here's F again. Now if we review the five notes, I'd like you to practice a lot going from B flat to C, D, E flat, and F. Try to memorize those five notes and see if you can do this. B flat, now C. Now D. E flat. And F. So that whole scale, starting with B flat, let's play two Two beats per note. We'll just play one half note on each pitch, starting with B flat. Ready? Play. Down. If you can play those five notes, there's a lot of songs that we can play. The rest of page eight, all of page nine are just a variety of songs using just those five notes on the flute. I'd like you to continue practicing like we have been doing so far, tapping your foot as you play, using your tongue for every note you play. Use your tongue and just continue practicing every exercise over and over and you're going to continue to improve. Good luck with your practicing and keep it up.